Welcome to Agri Related Current Affairs, a series by Agri Clarity and Clarity for Sure. In this initiative, what we are trying to do is we are trying to cover the current affairs in shots so that you are exam ready to tackle the current affairs in your examinations. So today's news is coming up from Puducherry. The first calf born through IVF ET, that is in vitro fertilization embryo transfer, was delivered in Kanuvapet village, Puducherry. This was a pilot project supported by Rashtriya Gokul Mission. Let's discuss the news in detail. First, let's discuss what is IVF ET. IVF ET involves fertilizing an egg outside the body and then transferring the embryo into a surrogate cow. I hope you all are aware about this, right? This allows for selection of genetically superior embryos aiming at producing high yielding cattle to boost milk production. Now look at the chart that I have provided you. In this you can see all the important information regarding the news has been covered. Let's discuss it. The target to produce 500 heads of cattle using IVF ET in Puducherry and Karaikal, each with the potential to yield 5000 litres of milk per lactation. The success rate of the project is currently around 25% which is higher than the national average. Out of 350 cows, 125 were implanted with embryos. 31 conceptions were successful. Though promising, the technology is cost intensive and complex, requiring specialized skills and facilities. The financial support makes a big difference. The total cost per cow is 21,000 with a 5,000 subsidy from the central government and 16,000 from the Puducherry government. IVF technology offers major benefits, faster genetic improvement, shorter breeding cycles, better herd management and also supports the preservation of indigenous breeds. On your screen, you can see two questions for you to answer. The first question is, under the pilot project supported by the Rashtriya Gokul Mission, what is the targeted peak meal yield per lactation for IVF ET cows in Puducherry? A. 3000 litres, B. 5000 litres, C. 7000 litres, D 4500 liters, E 4000 liters. The next question What is the approximate success rate of IVF ET technology achieved in Puducherry's pilot project? Here are the options 15%, 20%, 25%, 30%, 10%. And here is the third question Which institute is designated as the nodal agency for implementing IVF ET projects in cattle across India? You have your options. Comment down your answers in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel for more such information.